Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel and if you're new, welcome. My name's Lisa, it's great to have you. This week's video is going to be a winter Primark haul. I'm going to show you the bits and pieces that I picked up for the kids mostly. That was the main reason why I went over there. And also I picked up a few bits for myself and for Neil as well while I was over there. Um, it was actually over a couple of trips. The first trip was actually as they were just kind of like changing from summer to kind of autumn winter stuff. So I didn't get as much. I ended up having to go on a second trip sort of uh, just before Christmas, sort of two or three weeks before Christmas. I left it for a little while in the hope they were gonna have more stuff in but, and they did have a bit more stuff. I didn't need to go absolutely crazy. It was just topping up really like long sleeve t-shirts for the kids and a couple of hoodies for them and a few pairs of shoes and some wellies and things which I did end up getting in shoe zone so that's slightly different. It's not a Primark, uh, Primark purchase. Um, I did get myself a pair of wellies and Zach a pair of wellies that he needed for school um, in shoe zone while I was over there. So I'm gonna take you through and show you what I got. It's like I say, nothing extravagant or um, anything to do with going out for Christmas or or anything like that it's it's very very casual wear so without further ado let me show you what I got I'll take you through talk you through everything and let you know the prices and things and give you some idea if you still need to go to Primark for some winter stuff um, so yeah you can see what we got so here we go so I did this Primark haul in two trips actually. The first trip I made was kind of the mid to late October and they didn't have everything that I wanted. They were still obviously in the process of changing over from summer to sort of autumn kind of wardrobe. Um, so I managed to get a few bits, but then the second trip I made was just before Christmas, I think it was a couple of weeks before Christmas, just to kind of get a, a hopefully a few bits that I didn't manage to get. Uh, obviously in the first trip. I'm just giving you an overview of the first trip that I made. Um, as you can see, I did manage to get a fair bit, but there was just a few things that I had to end up going back and getting. So this is just a, a brief sort of overview of the kids' clothes, first of all. So I'm going to start off with Amelia's things and the first thing here are these slipper socks, these really cute, um, I think they're bunnies or something like that, <laughs> or cats, oh no unicorns, sorry they're unicorns, um, and these were £2.30 for the pair and then we've got this pack of two gloves for a pound, that's an absolute bargain I think for, for two pairs of gloves and then this bobble hat which was £2, this is a medium to large size because uh, sometimes when I do wash them uh, the things from Primark they do actually tend to shrink a little bit so I just wanted to allow uh, for a little bit of extra stretch and then I got these girls leggings I got three pairs of leggings on this particular trip and they were two pounds each so I got a navy blue pair this grey pair and a pink pair and they're full length leggings Next up were a couple of hoodies that I got for Amelia and this one is just a grey plain zip up one and that was £4.50 and I got this pink hoodie jumper for £5.50. Um, I thought it was really really nice, it's kind of like a pinky purple colour and I thought she'd love the colour um, and the style of it, it's nice and baggy. And then this other one as well with all these logos and things on for £5.50. And then also for Amelia, I got these long sleeve t-shirts. I managed to get a few of those because they were just starting to bring the long sleeve t-shirts in on the first trip that I made. And they were £2.30 each, just various designs. There's, there's normally lots to choose from in there. So I just got her a little selection of a few.
Now on to Zach's things, and I'm starting off with the long sleeve t-shirts here. Again, they were £2.30 each. Um, I just managed to get him two or three of those. He didn't need as many long sleeve t-shirts because he still had quite a few that I were oversized. They were a bigger size. I always always kind of get a bigger size, like sort of the next size up or two sizes up, depending on the style of them as well, uh, just so that they will hopefully make do and allow for shrinkage because unfortunately Primark things do t tend to shrink in the wash, like with tumble drying and things. So they were £2.30 each. And and then I also got him this camo design zip up hoodie for five pounds and also a plain gray zip up hoodie for four pounds fifty. He didn't need as many hoodies as Amelia did. I got her an extra one or two because he, he still had actually he still had a few left over um, hoodies and jumpers from again from last year. I only had to get him a couple. And I also picked up a couple of extra pairs of gloves because he's always losing gloves at, <laughs> at school. So I figured that a couple of extra pairs would never go amiss. They'll always come in handy. And I got him this two pack of beanie hats again for school so that he can uh, wear those and keep nice and warm. And also these slipper socks for four pounds uh, because again, he'd actually um, lost a pair and he'd also outgrown a pair. So I just wanted to kind of stock up with those. And then for the second trip to Primark, I got these Minnie Mouse slipper socks. They were four pounds and they were actually from Christmas. Uh, they were sort of Christmas themed with the sparkles. So I thought that she would love those. And again, I got her another couple of pairs of gloves as well. And then these trainers for 14 pounds because uh, some of her other trainers didn't fit her. And also um, I had to get rid of a couple of pairs because they were looking really tatty. <laughs> so I just uh, got her another pair of just white trainers. And then I got her these faux fur Ugg style boots for £9. She absolutely loves these. I get her a pair or two every year because uh, they keep her feet warm and yeah, she just finds them really, really comfortable. And I also got Zach another couple of pairs of gloves and these trainers for £14 as well because again, I had to get rid of a couple of pairs due to him growing out of them. And then I, and then I also had to throw a pair away because they were just too scuffed and worn. So I thought it was a bargain and he really, really liked these green and white ones. So next up, um, I just got a few bits for Neil so I got him some trainer socks for work and I got him this beanie for £3.50 just a, a plain grey colour and also these insulated gloves for £5 because sometimes obviously in the winter time he has to go out and de-ice the car <laughs> so uh, I figured that he'd have some nice warm gloves uh, to keep warm and also these pack of two just just regular gloves for a pound um, absolute bargain <laughs> um, they're just for like normal wear and then I got him this men's pyjama set for £12 and I just thought it was as nice and snuggly. It's kind of just like a, a cotton polyester mix top and then some brushed cotton uh, bottoms which uh, is really really comfy for him and he just kind of like uses them to like lounge around in and um, obviously colder nights he sleeps in them. And then on the second trip, I got a few bits for myself. So I got this five pack of sports socks, which were £3.50. They're just plain black. They're just thicker socks than my regular cotton ones, just to keep my feet warm in the winter. And I also picked up this PS, which is Primark's makeup range, Prep and Perfect pri uh, Face Primer. <laughs> That's a bit of a mouthful. Um, and it was a, a tub that I'm actually still using now. It's gone a long way and I will continue to use it probably for another month or so. Um, so that you do get a lot in there that's it's value for money four pounds fifty and then those cleansing pads there um, There's a pack of five and Also these cotton pads which I use on a daily basis that they're 90 pence for a hundred Which is an absolute bargain. I always pick up a pack even if I don't necessarily need any I just pick up a pack while I'm there I got this wash bag set which will be mostly for the kids to take to their nan and granddads when they have sleepovers and things just to put their sponges and toothbrushes and things in 
and then I got these gloves which again were a pound for a pack of two and these bobble hats as well which I use a lot of obviously in the winter time just to keep my head warm and it's windy and they sort of ranged from 350 to four pounds so I picked up a grey one and a black one. And then for myself, I also picked up a few long sleeve t-shirts. They ranged between 350 and four pounds. So I picked up this kind of creamy colored one and I picked up a gray one. And then I also picked up a short sleeved uh, black and white pinstriped uh, style one. Um, I just liked the color. I just liked the pattern on it, even though it's a short sleeve one. And I figured I could just like layer it up underneath um, something long sleeved anyway. So um, I, I saw it there and I thought I'm just going to get it. <laughs> so uh, I picked that up as well as an extra. And then also for myself, I picked up these black, slightly waterproof, faux fur Ugg style boots. They were £12 and they're not completely waterproof, but they're a lot more waterproof than the sort of like fuzzy um, other style Ugg, Ugg boots, which the, the moisture just seeps right through if it's raining or if it's wet when we walk out. And these are so, so comfortable. Um, I thought it was a bargain for the price that they were. Um, really comfortable, really warm. And like I say, I mean, they're fine in just light rain or just if, if the ground is wet, just to walk through, they're, they're, they hold up, they're waterproof enough. Um, so yeah, I'd advise getting those while they're, while they're hopefully still in store. And then I also picked up a couple of pairs of skinny jeans. So there's these dark blue denim pair, really, really comfortable again. And uh, I, I thought, yeah, I'm having those because uh, I'm kind of like living in jeggings and leggings. <laughs> As you know, I, I do often tend to go between the two. Uh, they're most comfortable. And also these high waist skinny jeans as well. They're a light blue, sort of like with faded kind of where the knees are. And uh, again, they're really, really comfortable. I've only worn these ones a couple of times. Not, so not as much as I've worn the other pair um, or a couple of other pairs of jeggings that I've got anyway in my leggings. But yeah, these are really, really comfortable. And then also as an extra from Shoe Zone, while I was over there, I picked up these kids' wellies. Um, Amelia didn't need wellies. She still had hers from last year and they still fit her. So I only had to pick up for myself and for Zach. So these wellies were £9. They're just a, a pair of black black wellies um, they're just for him to take into school and leave in school and also I picked up these um, ladies wellies for $14.99 for myself and these are really really super comfortable and I've only had to wear them a few times actually so far but um, at least they're there for sort of like wet weather if it's really wet or if it's snowy um, and I need boots with an extra grip like if it's a little bit slippery outside so I figured I'd pick up a pair while I was in shoe zone I spotted these and I thought oh, they're really really nice I really like them and they're really super comfortable so that is it for this winter Primark haul I hope it gave you some ideas as to what's in store lately for the winter season and hopefully uh, you can go and pick up some purchases there should be um, plenty still in there I should think <laughs> if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe so you can keep up with all of our other videos which I post every single Monday and I look forward to seeing you in the next one thanks for watching bye guys